Now my great pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce you to Ahmed Bouhatir, who is um, UAE Ambassador for Peace. He's very much involved um, in a peace project, not only a project, but um, he works on sustainable peace here in the region and in the world. Ahmed is also an international artist, very much known for his songs, for his recitation. And he just released, actually, a new album, which uh, is on peace. It's the name of his new album. He's also um, a senator, so you're a politician, you're a senator of Sharjah, and you're a businessman. So I think you um, combine many different talents, if I may say. But uh, first of all, of course, you know, talking about you as a person, and um, I read your biography, and um, uh, I think the most amazing thing is, of course, uh, combining the peace initiative with your life as an artist. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more, um, Ahmed, about um, your personal inspiration and uh, about this project of peace. Well, first of all, I would like to thank you, Frank and, and General Sudir, for uh, interviewing me tonight and for this very noble cause, which is peace. Uh, if you see, peace and prosperity always go hand in hand. And poverty breeds crime. People only turn to, to crime when they, when they can't provide for themselves. And that's more of a necessity and not a choice. I believe that nations prosper through trade. And they say that if you want to path your way to future, the best way is to look to the past. And if history has only taught us one thing, is that civilizations have prospered because they lived in peace and harmony. So I believe that prosperity is the link between peace and trade. I think a very um uh, uh, much a word of wisdom, if I may say. And uh, you said peace comes first. And if you look into history, into our legacy, our, our human legacy, we have seen in uh, countries focus on peace, focus on uh, also common understanding, economic growth will yes. follow, also um, the social cohesion of the people. What would be your advice now? And we witnessed a lot of change in the Arab world since um, the last uh, 10 months or so. What would be your advice on how to proceed in the Arab world? What kind of new value systems do we need? Well, as you mentioned just a moment ago that uh, I'm also an artist and uh, art is, is a kind of a, a medium that people use to get their message across the world. And in my case, I use uh, my voice which, has, uh, which, which God has blessed me with it. And at the moment, I have two causes which are very, very close to my heart. One is peace and the other is eliminating child hunger. Okay. If we take peace, you see now at the moment Islam is labeled as the face of terrorism. Many people use this to defame religion, to use their selfish interests, for their selfish interests in fact. What I want to do is I want to clarify this misconception and I want to go out there and tell the whole world what peace is really all about. I want to talk peace <coughs> across all boundaries and I want to tell people that peace is living in harmony. Now if you take the second part, second cause actually, is eliminating child hunger. It's a tragedy honestly. It's a tragedy that we, as being parents, seeing our children not being able to bear any minor problem, we don't see the people out, the children out there which are dying from hunger. Imagine every six seconds a child dies from hunger. Every six seconds. If we are talking about progression, is this a progression? What are we waiting for? For that every child will die tomorrow in one second? I don't think so. No. So I take this channel to go out there and with my voice help to help people bring out peace and to eliminate child hunger.
But t tell me, uh, Senator Bhutta, you've been traveling so much in the UAE and all the world. What kind of the response has been to the peace message? Because, you know, it's a message that you put across so subtly. What has been the response and what kind of vibes you get for the people when you do this? Uh, does that inspire you? How does it work? Of course, I mean, uh, people out there, they all want peace. They have actually seen that if you are living in fear and if you're living in fear, you're not happy. You don't progress. You don't develop. You're not living in prosperity anymore. But when there is peace, you know, businesses flourish, countries mm. flourish, societies come closer, uh, cultures come closer. Now we are a small world. Mm. You know, we can't afford to have, you know, wars and problems and misunderstanding between each other. So I have actually, when I've seen people listening to the music I'm making and getting affected by it and changing their course of life, you know, just to follow a message which I wanted to, to bring out, okay. it makes me really feel that I have a, an aim and a purpose in this life. And I, because I'm blessed, because I'm healthy, because I'm, alhamdulillah, I'm, 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 I'm living happy, I need to give this back to the world. It's a vocation in a way, mm. given by God, as you say. You are yes. blessed by your voice and you share it with the world. I think um, in today's world, not many people share. They're quite selfish, focusing on their yes. own maybe immediate needs. And I think what we need to do in this world is to share and to share what we have, what we Actually. can do. And uh, especially focusing on the young people, on mm. the child, Thank because, you know, the new generation is really the future. I think, you know, uh, if you want to work on the future, we have to work uh, by looking into the past and our legacy and learn from the past, from our history, and then we can envision the future. Exactly. I think, uh, you know, I wish you all the best Thank in what we are much. doing. Thank and uh, much, of course, we very much look forward uh, to our dinner night here, the Global Arab Business Meeting. Me too. Everybody is uh, most excited to listen to you, to your message of peace, and of course, listen to your voice. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.